Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue creating part 3 of our strip mall. Let's get started. So we're going to continue working on the strip plaza. In the previous uh, episode or video, we added second floor, curtain wall, floors, and mullions. And today's video, we're going to continue with the storefront. And we're also going to add in some roofs. So let's start by going to second floor. First, we're going to add the roof. So go to architecture, roof. And then we're going to use 300 is enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to uncheck define slope. This will be a flat roof. So I'm going to click it from this endpoint to this endpoint again. Let's unlock all of this and then click finish. Let's look at it at 3D and it's at the second floor. So we're gonna put this to the roof and then apply. And as you can see, we have our roof. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the chain of walls, except for this wall. And what we're going to do is, we're going to add in some top offset. So top offset will be around 600. And then apply. This will be our parapet. We can actually make it bigger. So around, let's do it. around 800 and then in this side now for aesthetic reason we're going to change this to fifteen hundred. So I noticed something that there's a gap here. So let's fix that. So double click on this wall and remove constraint. So I just move it a little bit and then click finish. And as you can see, it, it removed that gap. So next thing will be the storefront. So let's go to ground floor. And we're going to split this wall. So here we're going to split it. So go to modify or SL. Or you can click this icon as well. So something like this. So 1000. So 500 each. And then this one as well.
So this, I'm going to select all the split walls. I'm holding on the control button and selecting them. And then here, I'm going to edit type, duplicate. This will be exterior wall number three. Press OK. And then I either gonna put brick stone on this. So later on, I'll fix this. Press OK for now. And then after this, I forgot to split this. So this will be 500. So now that we have all the splits, and then we could change this to wall exterior number three, we can then add the storefront here so go to architecture click on wall drop down and then click storefront we're gonna put this on this endpoint to the endpoint of the split and then this is pointing at the wrong orientation so we're gonna click this Actually, it's other way around, so let's put it back. So the mullion and the horizontal are, yeah. After that, let's go to south elevation. So it will look like this. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this back. Something like that. And then double click this and we'll have a double door here and then this will be different so this will be around 600 let's do it on the other side Use align or AL and then let's align this and then after this TR for trim and then let's trim this then after that delete the remaining lines after this click finish and it will look like that so just to show the difference we can actually put this as brick for now so that we could see the variation of finish so it will look like that And we're going to change that later on. So now let's go back to ground floor and do it on others as well. 
So wall, curtain wall. From this endpoint to the endpoint of the sl slice. And then go to South Elevation and edit the curtain wall. And then let's align this. I'm going to use this as my base. And then after that, Use trim and then remove the rest of the lines. We could use a line as well for this one. So the top is done, only the bottom. So double click and then add the lights. Use the align tool. And then trim. So TR for short. And then delete the lines afterwards. Click finish. So last two, double click. Add in the line. Use Align tool Use Trim TR And then delete the remaining lines And then lastly AL TR for trim Delete the remaining lines and then click finish So let's add door to this curtain wall. So what you do is go to insert, load family, go to doors, and you can select single door, double, and double glass. So press open. It will load into your system. And what you have to do is you have to click tab until you select one of the glass panel click that and then as you can see this is grayed out so in order for it to be you can select this you need to unpin this and then after that you can select the door so let's choose this door and then tab again Select this panel, unpin, and then the single glass door. Go to ground floor, and then what you do is change the orientation.
go back to south and let's do this on all doors tab unpin and then select the door tab again unpin and select the curtain wall glass let's change this the orientation later we could do this first so tab unpin and select the glass curtain door this is already unpinned so you just need to select And then go back to ground floor and fix the orientation. So once you're done, you can see that you have the doors already. What I want to do is lower this more so that we can add signage here so roughly like this and then type in al for align so that we can align everything so something like that This should be wall number three. So that's about it for part three. In the next video, we're going to continue on the second floor. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.